Let's go. Bring it up, baby. Let's go. Get it up, baby. Get it up. what is good youtube man today i'm back with you guys with the nation for another video and today 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 we are here updating you before this week's matchup against the los angeles chargeless in week one um we got some stuff we got an injury report we got our captain's list so that's exactly what we're gonna get into and kicking it off Las Vegas Raiders versus the Chargers injury report. Let's kick it off with the Chargers. They have four guys on their report. Um, let's let's start it off. Number one, Drew Tranquil was not listed on the injury report Wednesday or Thursday, but did pick up a list today on Friday. It was a back injury, which what he was listed for, and now his game time status is questionable um another person that was placed on the injury list is running back isaiah spiller he practiced wednesday thursday friday he's most likely a full go he was listed with an ankle injury but you know these are running backs they get banged up all the time and they usually play through these injuries seems like that's exactly what isaiah spiller was going to do now interesting enough a guy that had a very successful camp for the los angeles chargers and is expected to have a pretty big increase in production now that they did not bring back tight end jared cook is i believe second or third year tight end donald parham he's picked up a hamstring injury did not participate in wednesday thursday or today, Friday's practice. So that's three days in a row that he did not participate. His game time status is doubtful. Now, one that we heard about yesterday, no surprise. Hey, man, you got to have an excuse on why you don't get cooked by Devontae Adams week one. Cornerback J.C. Jackson. We know that he had his ankle surgery. That's exactly what he's listed on the injury report for with an ankle injury. He did not participate either. Wednesday, Thursday, or in today's Friday practice. And he is also listed as doubtful for his game time status. So it looks like they'll be without two guys that were going to have very big roles. J.C. Jackson, this guy's an interception machine. Um, he won't be out there most likely. And Donald Parham, the six foot six speedy tight end, will not be out there. So pretty good for our matchups and how this will play out, if I'm going to be honest. Now, interesting enough, We've been extremely healthy, but there was one guy. He did land on the injury report. Now, thankfully, he was not listed on this list Wednesday or Thursday. He was listed today, but was a full participant in practice. He's listed with an injury as the wrist injury. That goes by linebacker Divine Diablo. Now, this is his first time on this report, and this is, in fact, the only player on the Las Vegas Raiders report um, injury report list, and it's a wrist injury. We do know that he did have a couple days in camp where he was practicing with a cast or with a little bit of protection on his wrist, so it does seem like this is something that they're just monitoring. He is going to play. Um, I would not worry about this at all, but is is interesting that uh we did have a guy kind of just pop up today friday uh usually fridays are non-contact days in the nfl because they either spend um saturday is traveling or in a walkthrough so it is interesting that he did pick up a little bit of a tweak today when it should be a non-contact day but interesting enough that's that but we have our eight captains going into this season these guys are going to be the big dogs leading us to hopefully that fourth lombardi trophy so kicking it off with the special teams punter aj cole he's received the first captain badge put the c on his chest then sticking with special teams newly signed wide receiver from miami mac hollins continues to make a name for himself within the las vegas raiders building all these guys have been voted by their peers and their players. So this isn't really a coaching staff thing. Mac Hollins put that C on his chest, 
in his first year with the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, big, big deal. Denzel Perryman, he, after gets his pro, first Pro Bowl year in the silver and black, um, just in general, he gets a big captain patch on his chest. Could be interesting to see with his contract talks going forward. That could be something to look at. You give the man a, a captain patch. Agent could say, you know what? He was a captain, man. Throw him a little bit more dough. Interesting enough. But another guy that is in his first year with the Las Vegas Raiders, this is now two, safety. Deron Harmon, the closer, he's picked up another captain badge on his chest. So that's four guys. We now have the next four. Defensive end. Is anybody surprised? Mad Max Crosby. He picks up the, the fifth. He picks up the fifth captain badge. Um, then Colton Miller. Colton Miller, the leader of the offensive line. Excited to see he's finally wearing that C on his chest. You know, we do kind of need that guy before we had Rodney Hudson. Before that, we had Richie Incognito. We had Gabe Jackson, all guys that players can lean on. It is now up to you, Colt Miller. You do the you do the teaching. You do the dominating. Glad to see this man with a C on his chest. Now, are we surprised? Come on, man. Quarterback Derek Carr. QBDC, the man that will win MVP this year. I'm just kidding. But he'll, he'll probably be up there. Um, Derek Carr takes the seventh. And last but definitely not least, the man, the myth, the number one wide receiver in the NFL, Devon Tay Adams. He picks up the eighth captain badge, put it on his um, jersey. Can't wait to get a Devon Tay Adams jersey with a C on it. Oh, my God, that's going to look so beautiful. But, Red Nation, that will be it for today's update. Injury report and the captain's list. Pretty interesting to see. I hope you guys have a phenomenal, phenomenal day. Should have more news for you guys tomorrow. Potentially a show with a guest with a little bit of a breakdown. We'll try and do that weekly. But if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We are more than halfway to 7,000 subscribers. I love you guys. And as always, stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'm out. Peace. Welcome to the Death Star, where our opponent's dreams come to die.